हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू यू ऑल इन टू डेज फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर फाइव एंड द नेम ऑफ अवर चैप्टर नंबर फाइव इज द वे द वर्ल्ड लुक्स वी स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर विथ वन स्मॉल स्टोरी धैन आफ्टर वी रिवाइज the previous knowledge of your third standard about two dimensional and three dimensional shapes and the different types of views let us see one small story gappu's air journey gappu was a brave little mouse One day he show the children are playing with a huge gas balloon the balloon went up and touched the roof gappu was thrilled one day what happened one day gappu was a little small mouse he saw that the children are playing with a huge gas balloon and that balloon went up and that balloon touched the roof so gappu was thrilled he got an idea this is the gappu and he got one idea what is that idea let us see let us see the gappu idea next day when the children went to school gappu climbed up the string of the balloon he could see the blades of the fan from the above and the blades of the fan above looks like this so he says that oh there is so much dirt on these blades from below they look so clean After that Gappu looked down he could see the bed chair one table with the books on it and the other table with a bottle jug fruits etc these all things Gappu looked down when he went up can you think why the Gappu could see the cheese on the jug but the chinky could not see when gappu went up he saw like this here we can see bed the chair one table on that table one book is there then the chair on another table you can see a bottle jug fruits etc many things are there and about that jug you can see the cheese this cheese gappu could see but chinky could not see why chinky could not see that the stupid after that the gappu said that stupid chinky is looking for a cheese can't even see it is kept on the top of the jug you know that why chinky could not see because at the same time when gappu see that the cheese at that time gappu went up with the balloon so he can see everything but the same time chinky could not see because at that time chinky on the floor and she is too much tiny so she can't see that the cheese after that just then a strong wind pushed the balloon out of the room the balloon flew up 
and Gappu started going up in the sky like this. After that, as he looked down, he could see his house from the sky. As he went higher, he could see the things around his house and that all things like this. He can see in this many things are there and he is just thinking. When I run around in my house, it looked so big but from here it looks small. How is that? Because when Gappu was in their house, at that time that all things are nearer to him. But when he went up, at that time he looks, everything was a small. Why? Because the distance between that thing and Gappu was too much. When we are far from anything, we can see all things from there. It's a too much small. And when it is, we are nearer to the things, at that time we can see all things are bigger. The balloon went up, up and up. Gappu kept wondering how big the world is. Now he could see lots of houses, street, roads and bushes like this. After that, he said to himself that, Wow, is that a train looking like a long box from here? After that, he says that these cars and bushes look small so small from here just like the toys and people look like the ants why this all thing happening because the distance between the gappu and that thing is too much that's why he can see all things are too tiny the size of that all things are too tiny too small Suddenly, there was a loud sound, Fut! The balloon burst and started looking bigger and bigger. The gappu fell on the railway track, like this. After that, when Gappu saw the railway tra track from above, it looked like this. But when he fell on the track, the railway line looked like this. Oh, things look so different when you look at them from the top and from the side. That we already know that when we see anything from the side and when we see anything from the top, the way, the shape of that, what thing, the same thing is different. Why? Because we see the different things from the different different point of view. He ran to save himself from the cruel Monty who ran after the Gappu and other rats on the railway track. He ran to save himself like this he ran. Why? Because the cruel Monty who ran after the Gappu and the other rats on the railway track they are also run. Look at this picture and tell why the things look wider and bigger at this end, end but 
the narrow and smaller at the other end just see this is the railway track we see from front view it's a look wider but when we see the end of that picture is too small why think this happen just see in this candles picture you can see the wider candles from front of you but when this candle are somewhat far away from us we see the tiny why this thing is happening due to the perspective distortion the side which is nearer to us looks wider and the side which is farther away from us that is looks narrow and smaller this thing is happening why because these all things are nearer to us and when anything is nearer to us we can see that thing is wider but when the side the thing which is farther away from us it is far away from us we can see that things we look that thing narrow and smaller as compared to the nearer the things which is nearer to us let us see the different types of shape some figures have two dimensional two dimension it means they have only length and breadth they all are known as 2d figures for example rectangle triangle square etc these all shapes have two dimension they all have only two things like length and breadth that's why it is known as 2d shapes but the figures which have three dimensions are known as 3d figures which are the three dimensional they have length breadth and height as well these are known as 3d figures and the example of 3d figures are cuboid cylinder cube these all are the example of 3d figures and as we already studied that a 3d figures have four different views we can see the 3d figures from four different side and which are that views just see top view front view side view and back view let us see some example of front view these all are the examples of front view if we want to see the front view of any of the object we have to stand in front of them when we stand in front of them we can see the front view of that object or that things otherwise in another word we can say that when we see anything from in front of side front side we can see their front view let us see the top view of different different objects these all are the example of top view when we went up and we looked down at that time we can see the different different things and the different different objects like this so these all are the example of top view so to see the top view what we have to do we have to just go up went up and looked down when we went up and from that place we looked down we can see the top view of different different object these all are the example of top view 
let us see the side view these are the examples of side view to see the side view we have to see we have to vent on a side and from that we can see the side view of different different object let us see some examples of back view when we want to see the back view of any of the object from where we can see the back view we have to went back side we have to go back side and from back side we can see the different different things and that view is known as back view i hope you all understand these all things very easily so please remember these all things because with the help of these things we have to move we are just going in our next topic thank you all of you